Hey guys, and um, welcome to another episode of Welcome to My World. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've done an episode. Um, reason why is I've been a little um, busy with um, gigs that I had. Um, I shot a music video. I had two weddings back to back. A few full photo shoots here and there. I've come to realize over the past few days that, well, first of all, let me let me start with this. Um, I wanted to make a confession, a realization, an assumption, pretty much breaking down the myth that's out there for all photographers and creative. From watching YouTube videos on um, all the photographers, videographers, um, anybody that's pretty much um, how do you call it, that made it out there, make it seem like. The camera, the most expensive gear that you have, the better your work is. Like, let's just say um, you shoot with a 1DX Mark II or whatever. You're supposed to have the best quality as far as pictures. Or if you have a 5D Mark IV like I do, you're supposed to have the best level of quality. It's true, but it doesn't define what your work is. Um, I started with the D3200 Nikon before switching over to Canon. Um, my pictures were great. I mean, they were not great, but um, at that level where I started, it was good enough. That was, what, four or five years ago? Then little by little, I saved up and I bought myself a 7ED. 7ED took my work to a next level, a level that I didn't know I could get to. Um, I thought I, could, I couldn't get any better than I got the Mark IV. Then my work got even better. But I've realized that it wasn't, um, it wasn't like the time, it wasn't the camera, it wasn't the timing. It was me understanding my camera better and better. If I go to the pictures where I first got the Mark IV, they were good, but now they're great. It's true, I upgraded my lens, but it wasn't that that made my work take that next level. It's me seeing the mistake that I used to make, understanding lighting better, understanding photography, understanding the concept of photography that made my work better. I upgraded it, I got a flash, I got a better flash, I got an outdoor flash. Um, I changed my lens, I bought two, three new lenses. Yeah, all of that affected my work. But I don't think that's the reason why my work got better. I started realizing the mistakes that I used to make and how to fix them and how to make them better. Um, recently, the two weddings that I had, believe it or not, I shot it with a 77D, a Canon, a micro, um, I it called APC sensor. Really small camera, super light. And if you look at the quality of those pictures, that amount, the quality of my Mark IV. I mean the Mark IV is slightly better and I have to work a little bit more into editing those 70, 70, 70 um, pictures that I took but you can tell that you know it's great work. What did I do? I didn't do anything special. I snapped my flash on it. I was even shooting with the basic uh, lens that come with the, the 16 to 50, 3.5 to uh, 5.6 aperture. But the letter, the the, um, the way I set up my flash every time I took a shot, the way I edited those pictures, you can tell the difference in my work. The first wedding, I used the basic 16 to 50 that came with that 77D. And the second wedding, I bought a 17 to 50 millimeter Tamron 2.8 that I was using with it, just to keep the, the focal length so I don't have to every time change my settings. But if you look at the pictures, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So back to the assumption, assumption that I was talking about. People assume that the more expensive the camera, the better your work is. In some case, it is true. But in some case, experience really matters. The flash that you're using, the location, the lighting, every single thing works. So you need to know the limitation of your camera. You need to know what you're shooting with, what the camera is capable of, and how you know, um, if you know how to use it. That would definitely upgrade your work. 
I'm still learning with my Mark IV. My pictures are not perfect. I can do better. I can get better. But it's gonna come also from my editing. I don't edit with Photoshop. I generally just use Lightroom, fix up, touch up the picture, try and keep them natural, which is a problem. I need to learn how to use Photoshop. But um, I kind of got comfortable you know which is the next thing I got really comfortable with videography so first of all I started as a photographer I used to learn every single thing I knew about photography try to get better but then as time went on I kind of got comfortable and I learned videography so I kind of completely switched my focus from photography to videography and then I started upgrading my equipment started getting better at doing videos more and more then I kind of gave up on photography, which is, you know, I still get gigs here and there, but it's not my main focus anymore. But over the past few days, having to shoot those wedding, because I was a one-man army, generally I book another um, videographer with me, or if I'm doing photography, I book another photographer with me. But since I kind of quit my job now to focus, to pursue this as full time, I kind of need all the money that I can get. And frankly, the people that I was working with also didn't have enough budget to fit me and a photographer in. So I had to do, I had to take on the role of a photographer and a videographer. And I kind of realized that photography is still fun. I still love doing events, I still love doing weddings, I still love taking models, I still love doing all those little stuff that I used to do, you know? And I got so comfortable doing videos and I stopped kind of learning tricks and tips about photography. But taking that 77D over, over the, those past two weeks and getting back into photography made me realize that, you know, I don't need a Mark IV. I don't need a 1DX Mark II, I don't need a EOS R, I just need a camera, a flash, and scales, which is basically it, you know. So once again, I had the confession, I made that confession, I had an assumption, I think I carried that assumption, and I'm kind of like piggybacking on whatever I said, but I kind of forgot, because I was so much into talking, but you know, this is what I wanted to say basically, you know, you don't need the best gear, you don't need the most expensive, or you do need a stabilizer. Not necessarily um, a Ronin S or Mozart Air or whatever. Although it's going to make your footage amazingly clean, but you need something to stabilize your footage. You need a stabilizer with the lens, you need a stabilized body, but overall, you know, that's it, you know, you can do amazing things with photography. And I was really glad I had to experience this the past two weeks. I'm buying a second body, by the way. I have a 5D Mark IV. I am trying to save up to get an RP and let go of my second body that I have right now, which is an A6000, A6300, I'm sorry. Um, the 7070 was not mine, I borrowed it for the shoot. But you know, like, I'm trying to play around and learn every single system around and every body and, you know, learn more, develop my photography, develop my videography, you know. So stay tuned for more. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And I have one more thing. So I am doing this giveaway thing where um, I'm going to do music videos for free. Does that sound nice or not? So, new giveaway, free music videos, and on my Instagram. So I advise you to follow me, and then you get the instruction on how to do it, and how to win it. And I want to win, we're gonna shoot this dope ass music video. Nah, that was a lot. Don't do it at home. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.